When it comes to carnivorous dinosaurs, the theropods were the largest. The name theropod means beast foot, and this term refers to an amazingly diverse group of sauriscian, meaning lizard-hipped, bipedal dinosaurs. But which ones were the largest? While it is not possible to conclusively state the 10 largest theropods, as most of our fossil finds amount to only fragments, we can give you our top 10 choices based on extrapolation data from paleontological study. Our first entry is the Mapusaurus, who lived approximately 100 to 90 million years ago and whose name translates to Earth Lizard. This Cretaceous South American giant could grow anywhere from 33 to 39 feet in length, and we've been able to see various stages of its development thanks to a bone bed which housed seven individuals. This suggests that Mapasaurus may have hunted in mobs or in packs, which would have allowed them to take on some of the larger sauropods, such as Argentinosaurus, which would be almost impossible to take down alone. The Mapusaurus had some serious serrated teeth as well, and their design leads us to believe that each bite was capable of tearing out enormous chunks of flesh. Another favorite of many dinosaur fans is our second entry, the mighty Allosaurus, a vicious hunter from the late Jurassic period who could be found in North America, Siberia, Tanzania, and Portugal about 150 million years ago. Measuring in at 36 to 39 feet in length, what's the scariest about this carnivore is that the abundance of skeletons found together seem to suggest that the Allosaurus like to hunt in packs. To give you an idea of how that might have went, consider the Cleveland Lloyd Quarry in Utah. According to the U.S. Bureau of Land Management, of the at least 74 individual dinosaurs found at the quarry, about 46 of them are Allosaurus specimens, so it's easy to see why they think they may have hunted in packs. An interesting feature that you see on an Allosaurus skull that makes it easy to identify is that it had brow horns. Also, the odd shape of its jaw has led to contention that it might have used its head for a hatchet-like attack to slice its prey. Our next dinosaur is the Saurophaganax, a close relative of the Allosaurus, hailing from the late Jurassic period approximately 150 million years ago. Saurophaganax hunted early North America and many of its fossils have been found in Oklahoma. While we don't know a lot about Saurophaganax, based on findings, we believe that it liked to hunt young plant-eating sauropods as well as the occasional smaller theropods earning its name, which happens to translate to greatest lizard eater. But just how big was the Saurophaganax? About 36 to 43 feet in length. About 125 to 110 million years ago in South America, Cretaceous Argentina hosted another gargantuan carnivore known as the Tyranno Titan. It reached lengths of anywhere between 36 and 43 feet. The tail of this beast, for instance, was likely very long and strong. Its legs were suggestive of this as well, although if it didn't swim, it probably still had a running speed of approximately 20 miles per hour. While we don't know specifically what it ate, we do know Tyrannotitan was a carnivore, and considering its size, its likely diet consisted of whatever the Tyrannotitan could catch. Our next monstrous theropod is the Acrocanthosaurus, whose name means high-spine lizard. This was due to a unique feature on this dinosaur's back. The assorted spines, which are believed to have consisted of a sail growing from the tail to the back of the neck, reaching sizes of 39 to 43 feet in length, Acrocanthosaurus likely fed on sauropods and may have been a scavenger as well. So where and when did this giant hunt? This theropod lived in Cretaceous North America around 125 to 105 million years ago. In fact, footprints found in Texas appear to capture the moment of an Acrocanthosaurus hunting a large sauropod, possibly across a mudflat. If the speculation is true, 
than it might have been a sight to see as Sorrow Poseidon was approximately 110 feet long. In the late Cretaceous period, approximately 85 to 65 million years ago, North America and Canada were the host to the most famous dinosaur, the Tyrannosaurus. This theropod is said to have achieved sizes of up to 40 to 43 feet in length. Likely a swift hunter, if projections of its muscle placement and center of mass are correct, then this giant could potentially run at 10 to 24 miles per hour after its prey. Most notable about this famous apex predator, though, was its bite. A 2012 study indicated that the Tyrannosaurus probably had a bite force of approximately 60,000 newtons. The Tyrannosaurus's teeth weren't sharp like you would think either, but rather dull. This allowed the teeth to withstand the struggling of the tyrant lizard's unlucky victims. Approximately 100 to 95 million years ago roamed a giant carnivorous dinosaur in the area of modern-day Argentina. At 40 to 43 feet long, the Giganotosaurus was considered one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs of South America. While no complete skeleton has been found, the bones that we do have suggest that this hunter was fleet of foot, capable of sprinting up to 20 miles per hour in short bursts. So what did the Giganotosaurus eat? Having virtually no predators due to its size, the Giganotosaurus likely dined on herbivores and anything else it could catch. That said, analysis of its jaws indicates that it probably attacked by biting slices into its prey until the bleeding wore them down. Between about 100 to 90 million years ago, our next theropod entry made its home in Upper Cretaceous Brazil. Oxalia is one of the more mysterious members of our list being identified by only two skull bone fragments found in 1999. What we were able to discern from these fragments was that Oxalia is a subspecies of the Spinosaur family. Measuring in at an estimated 39 to 46 feet, this bipedal, crocodile-like dinosaur spent most of its time in or near the water and dined almost exclusively on fish. Measuring in at 39 to 46 feet long, the next dinosaur on this list is the Carchardontosaurus. This mighty theropod roamed early northern Africa 100 to 90 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. While it is difficult to prove cooperative hunting, some have speculated that small packs of the Carchardontosaurus would have been able to take down even enormous sauropods their knife-like serrated teeth being quite up to the task of piercing through thick hide. It is likely that the Carchardontosaurus, never one to turn down a meal, also scavenged the kills of other dinosaurs as a welcome addition to its diet. Our last entry is believed to be the largest of the carnivorous dinosaurs, with fossil records indicating that it possessed a length of anywhere from 49 to 59 feet, and you might have an idea of what it may have looked like from the famous T-Rex battle in Jurassic Park 3. The first Spinosaurus fossils were originally unearthed in 1912 from the Bahariya Formation of Western Egypt by a man named Richard Markgraf, a fossil collector and friend of the man who would later describe and name the finding in 1915, a paleontologist named Ernst Stromer. While the original fossils, and at the time the only fossils of Spinosaurus, were destroyed by an Allied bombing of Munich during World War II, Stromer's notes and drawings of the original find were quite detailed and would prove valuable once new fragments of Spinosaurus remains would be identified once again in the late 2000s by paleontologist Nizar Ibrahim. By analyzing the fossil records, we have determined that the Spinosaurus likely lived during the Cretaceous period approximately 115 to 95 million years ago. Despite being larger than the more well-known T. rex, Spinosaurus was piscivorous, meaning that it mostly subsisted on a diet of fish, and recent findings indicate that it was not only capable of swimming, but of diving in the search for its dinner as well. Some have speculated that this semi-aquatic giant scavenged other types of flesh as well, including other dinosaurs. Now that we've given you our top 10 list, we'd like to remind you that without full skeletons for most of these mighty creatures, 
we must rely on extrapolation data. While Spinosaurus is the current winner based on this, with so many enormous apex predators that have been found already, who is to say that we might not find even larger ones in the future? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment below.